All right, our two cans are finished and we're ready to add color to them. How exciting. All right, in the middle of your table, you're going to see some texture rubbing plates. Third grade, you're probably familiar with these. Second grade, you might have done them last year in first grade, I can't remember. But let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna do with our texture plates. We get one at a time so that we can all share them. Okay, let Miss Cunningham get one that I want first. And you also have in your pencil bin, you have some crayons. These are the crayons. You have yellow, green, and brown. You can use all three, or you can just use one. It's up to you. <clears throat> our texture rubbing plates are going to add texture to our negative space, boys and girls. On the board, you will see that you can show texture in the negative space. So everything around the bird is negative space. The bird is not negative space. Everything around the bird, everywhere where we don't have a drawing. So we put our texture plate under our paper and we rub. We don't color, we rub. Rubbing is where you lay the crayon flat and rub. Now I have to make sure that I'm constantly moving my texture plate to the area that I want it and rub. I think it would look really cool if we did one type of texture in one color, and then we got a different texture and did that in another color on top of that. I got a little bit on my bird beak. That's okay. You don't have to panic. Let me go ahead and get another texture rubbing plate. I'm gonna put that in the middle of the table. I'm all done with it. Put it under here. Let's see what happens if I do another one on top. Oh, I like the way that looks. That looks really neat. Again, I'm laying my crayon flat and I'm rubbing the texture onto my negative space. Inside there, that's negative space. <clears throat> Making sure I'm filling up all the negative space because this is where we're gonna do our printing. And we don't want to print on just plain white paper. We want to make it look really interesting with lots of colors. Now I can't get the same one. Let's pretend someone else is using that. I can't get the same one. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. I'll turn it a different way and I'll use my green. It's okay. I'm not upset that I can't use the same texture that I did down there. Not upset because I like sharing. Making sure all my negative space is filled with beautiful texture. You can do your texture in one color. You can do it in two colors. You can do it in three colors. However you want to fill up your texture and your negative space with texture is up to you. Okay. Now that is step number one. Step number two is adding color to our beautiful beak. We saw the picture of the toucan. Oh my goodness, it's yellow and red and orange. It's so bright and colorful. These are oil pastels. Oil pastels are meant to be blended, so we will do some blending on the beak. You also have a paper towel. This is to give our oil pastels a bath. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, give the oil bath the tub. Oil, what did I just say? I'm confused. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, give the oil pastels a tub. Here's our oil pastel. See how dirty it is? This is how we clean it. We rub it inside there. All the sides, making sure we're rubbing it nice and clean. And all the yucky, dirty oil pastels coming off on the paper towel. So I'm gonna rub the oil pastel nice and clean so that no other colors are on it because I don't want them to blend onto my beak. When you use oil pastels for blending, you always wanna start with the lightest color. And in this case, it's going to be yellow. So find a yellow and go ahead and give it a bath. Rub dub dub. <clears throat> my oil pastel is clean. We're going to press hard and color right in the middle of the top beak 
and right in the middle of the bottom beak, just like this. I didn't put oil pastel here, and I didn't put oil pastel here. Okay, that is our first color orange. Our second, no, no, what did I just say? That is our first color yellow. Miss Cunningham knows my colors. That's yellow. Next, we're going to get orange. This one needs a little bath, so let me go ahead and clean it up here. The orange is going to go around the yellow. It's allowed to touch the yellow, that's fine. I left a little bit of white there and I left a little bit of right, white right there. Let's do the top. Remember where I said I got the texture on my beak? Look, I just covered it up, can't even see it anymore. Okay, and we're gonna color the orange around the yellow. And the last color you're gonna use for the beautiful colored beak is red. And this red is really in need of a bath. So this is gonna take me a little while to clean off this red. You can also use a dark orange, it's up to you. <clears throat> this gets dirty, not because um, students are using it wrong, but just because it's used and loved. Just like a teddy bear at home, your teddy bear or your blanket at home that you always use, that needs to have a bath sometimes because not because you're being mean to it or mistreating it, it just gets used and it needs to be clean. Okay, that is pretty clean now. Now with our red, watch carefully boys and girls. I'm coloring the tip down here, down, down, not that one, that's gonna be black. Coloring the tip down here and I'm coloring this part over here red. And I'm gonna do a little few dashes of inside my yellow. And then up top, I'm gonna to do this red. Do right here red. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm filling in the white spaces with the red. Wherever I see white, except for right there, wherever I see white, I'm gonna put a little bit of red. I don't want to see any white on my bird's beak except for right there. I'll put a little dash right there. Now comes the fun parts, blending. With your finger, you're just blending very gently right over the top of your beak. Blending all those colors together so that we don't see just red and orange and yellow anymore. Now we see a brand new color. I gotta blend the bottom. We wanna make sure we're staying in the lines. I never wanna blend this way down off my beak. I wanna pretend like my finger is coloring, okay? Pretend like your finger is coloring and stay in the lines. Keep all your beautiful blending colors inside that beak. Okay, now our finger needs a bath. Let's wipe it off. Okay. Next, we're gonna do the eye. Oh, but Miss Cunningham, that's still white. That's okay. Okay, we're gonna start with the lightest color. These two colors are for the eye, blue and orange. What's lighter, blue or orange? Orange, that's right. So this color out here, or this circle out here is orange. Covering up all the white. We don't wanna blend this. This doesn't need blending. You just keep coloring with your oil pastel until all the whites are covered. And then get my blue. I think I need a bath on that. And then my blue is in the second circle. Okay, that is still white. Keep that white. <clears throat> Now it's time to do the wing. Find a white. It's going to be really, really in need of a bath. Look at that. Wipe off your white. And we're going to use the white to add highlights to the wing. 
so that when we color our bird black, the wing just doesn't blend in with everything. It's going to have some white in there to stand out and show our viewers of our artwork that, yeah, there's a wing there. It's just not all a black bird. Okay, so we're tracing over these white, these um, wing lines. I know you can't see it because your paper's white and we're using white. But trust me, I'm just tracing right over these pencil lines that we already drew. I'm not coloring the wing white. I'm just tracing over our pencil lines with white. Okay, now it's time for black. Black doesn't need to get cleaned off. This is what we're doing inside the black. We're going to color in, inside the black. What did I just say? Inside the wing. We're gonna color inside the wing where we just did the white. And some of our white will show up. Now with your finger, you're gonna blend just like you're coloring. You're blending that together just like you're coloring. Stay in the lines of your wing. And we want to make sure that our white's showing. Stay in the lines of your wing. Pretend like your finger's coloring. Do you see how it's not um, making the wing all black? We don't want the wing to be all black. We want these lines to show. If you want to go back in there and freshen it up and sharpen it up, you can go back in there. And But we don't want the whole wing to be black. That's why we put that white there. Coloring with your finger. It's actually not called coloring. It's called blending. But when you blend, you got to make sure, like just like you're coloring, you got to make sure you're staying in the lines. Okay, so that wing is done. Let's get our fingers a bath and get that white back out. Okay, let's color back over those lines. Really make sure that those lines stand out and that our whole entire wing does not turn black. Okay, you're just tracing right back over what we just put white on, okay? All right, let's get our black out because remember this, that we left white? Let's do black. So we're gonna make a line that goes like a rainbow towards the face, not this way, not this way, this way. Okay, and all this is black. I know you can't see what I'm coloring because my oil pastel is so tiny just like that okay you know this line where the mouth opens and closes we can draw a black oil pastel line on that just to make it stand out a little bit more okay this right here where the beak meets the eyeball and where the beak meets the face we have to put a black stripe there why i don't know that's just what they look like Okay, and that white circle right there is now black. If you want to, boys and girls, you can only color half of the circle so that you have a little reflection in the eyeball. Personally, I like that. If you want to color the whole eyeball black, you feel free to do so. Now, this um, toucan body is all black too. But this area right here is white. So we can't use these little tiny, look, you can't even see that. We can't use that to color the body. So I have big chunky blacks. So when you're ready to color the body and your wing is finished and your beak and eye is finished, I'll bring you the nice big oil pastel blacks. But for right now, while you're waiting for me to bring you that, go ahead and give your fingers a bath. Do not add water to these paper towels. Just give your fingers a bath. You can go underneath your fingernails with the paper towel 
and it should be pretty clean and ready for the body.